Sophia Hodgson. Thank you so much for joining me again for another video on my YouTube channel. Um, and I'm going to be sharing with you a pinata card using the MFT dies. Uh, so this is the card that I started with. Um, it's not a shaker card. It's just um, a kind of window card using the dies. I just wanted to try them out before I did this video. Um, so I cut all of the layers for the pinata from cardstock instead of uh, tissue paper, but for the shaker card I wanted to use tissue paper. So here are the supplies that I will be using today. So we've got the pinata dies, uh, the base which I'll cut out of white cardstock, and the stitched in and out MFT stackables. <laughs> Uh, and here are the tissue papers that I'm going to be using. They're just uh, cheap from Hobbycraft, uh, two different colours in a pack. And then I'm going to cut all of the layers from about six pieces of tissue paper and layer them up. Um, I'm not going to show you me sticking all of the layers together on top of the piñata because that will take forever and you will die of boredom. Um, so I'm going to layer them and glue them off camera. And here we go, there's the piñata that's all been glued and layered off camera. And I'm just fluffing up all of the bits of tissue paper. Uh, and I really love this die. It's, uh, it's a really realistic piñata, so it's, it's really cute. It's super adorable. Um, so then I'm going to cut the window for my shaker card. And again, I'm going to die cut that off camera uh, because my die cutting machine is, uh, isn't on the same desk as my, uh, my video camera. So I've cut out the window for my shaker card um, and just to show you that the piñata fits beautifully inside that window. Um, and I'm going to be suspending the piñata using this clear stretch cord. Um, if you use this inside your shaker cards then the piñata is able to move around within the card. Um, so it will move with the sequins and I think it gives a really nice effect. So I'm just going to stick it down with uh, just some normal uh, sellotape. Nobody will be able to see because it's on the back, so it doesn't matter what it looks like on the back. The sellotape is just a bit too thick, so it might show through the body. So I'm just going to trim off a tiny bit um, and then stick the stretch cord on the back of the piñata. And I'll just give you a, a close up there so you can see that the stretch cord is uh, is strongly attached. Um, and here's my acetate to put at the front of the window for our shaker card. If you can hear a rumbling in the background, that's the cats playing with their um, uh, their treat balls. They like to chase after treat balls with cat food. And so if you can hear that, then sorry about that. Um, so I've just uh, peeled off the backing of my double-sided sticky tape and uh, created the front of my shaker window. Um, and I've doubled up some foam tape and taken the backing off. And this makes it lovely and bendy so that you can get any shape that you want. I'm afraid my camera died there. Um, but so I've added all of the foam tape to the back of our shaker window now. Uh, and it's ready to attach the piñata and pour the sequins in. So I've attached my little piñata with the stretchy cord so it can uh, wiggle around in the window. Um, and I'm just attaching the stretchy cord on either side so that it's well secured and it won't fall apart um, when the window is, is all adhered to the card. <laughs> Just trimming the excess off there. And just to make sure that the stretchy cord uh, adheres really well at the top, I'm just adding a little bit of uh, extra glue just to make sure that it will stick down. It didn't seem to want to stick too well to the, um, uh, the foam at this particular point. So I'm just adding some doodle bug uh, sequins here. They're in tangerine and lilac. And now I'm going
going to remove all of the adhesive backing and stick a piece of white card behind the shaker window to keep all of the sequins in place. And just adhering that backing card to keep all of the sequins in. So you need to push really firmly now to, to make sure that none of the sequins come out underneath the uh, the foam tape and you can push quite hard because the, the foam is, is quite pliable. Um, and I'm just cutting off the excess there because I, I didn't trim down the card ahead of time. So I'm just going to apply some double-sided sticky tape to the back of the shaker window so that I can attach it to the card base. And the card base is going to be a white 5x7. I really like the 5x7 size. Uh, it's bigger than a standard card, but it's smaller than uh, an A5 card. Is it A5? The one that's a half an A4 sheet anyway. Um, and now you can see that uh, everything's adhered and the little piñata is sitting in his window and I'm just going to adhere uh, my Fiesta sentiment and this is four sentiments die cut from black cardstock and adhered on top of each other so it's uh, good and thick uh, it's uh, I think it's 300 GSM, so when I've adhered four on top of each other, it's really, really strong. It's like um, chipboard. And I'm using the Nuvo glue pen and just sticking that down to the front. And last but not least, get the, the tittle in on top of the eye. Uh, so now I'm adding some Nuvo drops. I haven't included all of it because you don't need to see me adding Nuvo drops forever and ever and ever. Um, and I'm just using the top of the bottle to flick on the card on top and this flattens out the Nuvo drops so they, uh, they get a nice domed finish. Um, and this particular colour, the crushed grape, was blocked so I'm just using a, a pin to remove the blockage and I always test out my Nuvo drops on a piece of scrap paper before I go straight to my card because I don't want to ruin it however in this case I ruined it anyway um, it's very cold today and it's been lovely and warm the whole month um, so I don't know what's suddenly happened um, it's very cold today so the consistency of my Nuvo drops has totally changed um, and I don't know if you can see uh, whilst I'm tapping I'm moving the car, card around the pink and green Nuvo drops are very very thick in consistency and the orange as well um, and I end up needing to scrape off what I've applied um, and then reapply it and just squirt out a load of the Nuvo drops to get get it flowing properly again. Um, so the ones that I've already applied, unfortunately, the, um, the Nuvo drops wouldn't flatten out. So we, despite loads and loads of flicking and smacking it all over the place, it just wouldn't dry. Uh, it just wouldn't spread out. So when it dried, I'll show you later, the um, the Nuvo drops are very lumpy. So I decided that I had to redo this card and I redid it really quickly instead of using the tissue paper. You can see here, the um, especially the pink Nuvo drops, they're not circular and uh, they're, they've got all sorts of different layers in them. Um, so I wasn't particularly pleased with this card, which is such a shame. Um, because other than other than the Nuvo drops, the card was fine. Um, so as I said, I did make uh, another card very, very quickly using cardstock rather than the tissue paper. You can use cardstock or tissue paper. Um, and I used more different colored sequins this time to tie in with the Nuvo drops. So 
Uh, that is my pinata shaker card. Thank you so much for watching my video. Uh, please do give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already done so. And I'll see you again soon with uh, some more card making videos. Thanks very much. Bye.